So I guess if you were wondering whether Geralt really saw his mom in episode 8, here you go. This is for you. This is what the director said. So in episode 8 of Netflix's The Witcher, Geralt gets bit by some ghouls, he ends up getting a fever, hallucinates, and his mother shows up, who is a sorceress and a healer, to help him. Now, I guess it was ambiguous to a lot of people whether his mom was actually there or he was just hallucinating her as well. I, I didn't realize so many people were arguing about that online, but I guess it's a thing because the director for that episode came out and said, Hey, he, here's the answer you guys are looking for. He gets bitten by ghouls and gets fevers. In this deliriousness, he flashes back to his childhood, the little boy who gets abandoned by his mom, taken to Car Morhan, and becomes the witcher that he is. In his deliriousness, or is he delirious? The big question mark in that scene by the tree where his mother comes to visit him, is it his mother or is he dreaming it? We left it deliberately ambiguous. There's been a lot of argument on fan pages about this, but I wanted to leave it ambiguous for Geralt to say, tell me, at least, that you knew what you were doing. And I again think some of the skillfulness in the storytelling is it's not telling you that that's why he is grumpy. It's just giving you a backstory as to a child that has been abandoned. That could therefore give reason for somebody who feels the world is against him or not for him. So have you been fighting whether his mom actually showed up in the show or not? Was really there? You're playing right into their hands. They want us fighting. It's a distraction technique. Though I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter whether she did actually physically show up in the show or not because it was about delivering a message of why Geralt's such a little emo. Such a little emo. Because I guess if my mom had abandoned me to a group of people that put you through all these mutations and trials that more often than not result in your death, I'd be a little fucked up too, you know? Probably wouldn't be a, a, a people person. However, I think it's pretty clear in the prequel book to the Main Witcher saga, Sword of Destiny, that his mom did actually show up. It wasn't a hallucination. She came, helped him, and then ended up leaving. At least... I've never met anyone that believes he hallucinated his mom in The Sword of Destiny. So if you're one of those people, I guess you could let me know in the comment section down below why you think that, because I thought it was pretty uh, cut and clear that his mom did physically show up in the book. In the show, I, I get they wanted it to be ambiguous, but... So okay, there's not your answer for whether she was physically there in the show or not. 